after we finish practicing drawing our emotions, we're going to write our name on the back of all four of our small pieces of square white paper. That way, as we're working, when they're still separated, I will know which one belongs to who. So all four of your papers should have your name and class code on the back. Now I'm going to start with one, and I'm going to do a super, super light sketch. I don't want to press hard with my pencil, because then that's going to be hard to erase if I mess up. And I'm just drawing an outline. Remember, simple drawing, simple lines of my face. So starting with a shape for my head, adding some hair, my neck, and to some easy shoulder lines. Now I'm going to try and draw it the same way on all of my four squares. It doesn't have to be the exact same. If I wanted to change my hair, I could, or even what's on my shirt. But I want it to look pretty much the same leaving my faces blank right now. Starting by drawing all of the sketches on all four papers at the same time. We're gonna work on them at the same time. Now when all four papers have my sketch, I feel like they look pretty much the same. I'm happy with my drawings. Then I can pick one and decide which emotion I'm gonna start drawing with. So on my first one, I'm going to start with my eyes. Remember, simple lines, simple shapes. And I'm doing my happy emotion, adding a frame around it. Just easy line frame. It doesn't have to be perfect. And a simple pattern in the background. That kind of goes with my emotion. On to my next one, adding just a tired emotion. Because, you know, I'm tired a lot, as are we all. And then add a little pattern in the background to go with it and a simple frame. Remember, we're doing simple lines. We're not going to make it hard. And we're going to do easy shapes, easy lines as we go. My next emotion, I'm going with excited. Add a simple frame, not perfect lines, and something in the background that kind of goes with my emotion. And for my last one, I'm going to do just a calm emotion. So it'll look similar to my tired, but you can tell the difference. And that's okay if they're similar. And then add a pattern to my background. Now I have all four of my emotions ready to go. We're going to Sharpie them, kind of scribble in with our pencil to give it a background effect. And then we'll glue them all down to a big row of black paper.